new event searches are already useful enough, but how often has it been that you search for something and then immediately press E to essentially go to the end of your search? Well, first of all, you should be using GN. It moves you to visual mode and to the end of the selection. In this case, the selection being what you searched for, but that's not the best way you can do it. Let's move back and search for require once again, but now we'll put slash E at the end. And now we end up at the end of what we searched for. What I just did is not some special exception. It's actually a search offset. Let's go to NeoVim and search for search offset. We can immediately see the E that we just used, but it's not the only one. There seems to also be S, which I'm not sure when you would ever need, because when you search, you start at the start, obviously. But this is going to be useful when you want to offset character by character. Let's try it out. So I do require, and I want to check out something that I believe probably won't work. I do S minus one, and it actually does. Even though it's on a previous line, it can still go to the previous character. That's actually pretty big. I doubt I would ever use it interactively, but that's pretty nice. Let's do a similar thing. We require then E, let's say plus two to end up on the quote. Not sure exactly why I didn't go to the quote immediately, but I'm sure this is useful somehow. See, in new of them, there are many things that feel incredibly useful. And then when you find that use for it, you're like, fuck yeah, <laughs> even if usually they aren't that useful. So this is at the very least pretty cool. You can also make offsets that are line wise. So let's try that out as well. Require and then let's say three. We should end up on the blank line and we do. All right. And I imagine if we minus one, we end up on the previous blank line. Amazing. I'm going to be completely clear with you. I thought that this feature was mo more complex and I only knew E and used E because that's generally what you want. But this is actually way simpler than I thought. But I refuse to make YouTube shorts. Fuck them. And if you enjoyed this video, consider following me on Mastodon. Press a like, type some comment, maybe have a question or a suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags! And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!